Hi, this is Vec. In this tutorial, we'll look at the static modifier. So we can use static modifier in three contexts. That is, we can have a static block and we can have a static variable and also a static method. So let's first start with the static block. So to create a static block, type static and start a block with the curly braces. So within this, a static block is scoped and let's print something. This is a static block and here you can see we have created a static block now let's have a main method over here psvm and tab so we are having a main method and as you can see this is also using a static modifier but as this is a method so we'll cover it in the later part of the tutorial and let's s out over here this is the main method so in the previous tutorials, I have told you that JVM first looks for the main method to execute. But even before the main method, whenever the class is loaded, any class is loaded, what is first searched for is the static block. So the first thing that will be executed when a class is loaded is the static block and after that the main method. So shift F6, here you can see this is the static block, the static block is printed and then the code in the main method is printed and also you can have multiple static blocks copy this and let's paste it over here and this is another static block and let's f6 shift f6 and here you can see so these static blocks are printed in the serial order that is first this static blocks code is printed then this static block code is printed and then the main method so the static block is equivalent to constructors in a way that constructors are used to initialize the instance variables of a class and the static blocks are used to initialize the static variables of the class. These static variables are also known as the class variables because each static variable is associated with the class and also everything that is static is associated with the class and not with a particular object. So there is no need of an object to actually use something which is static. So now let's remove these static blocks and first let's focus on the static variables. So remove this also and let's have a static variable. So here let's have a static int and let's have a count over here. Now here you can see we are having a static variable and I have cleared it over here because if I declare it over here let's copy this and paste it over here and change the name so here you can see it is saying illegal start of expression because a static declaration is always associated with the class so declaring a variable inside of a method is not appropriate because it will then get associated with a particular instance and that is not valid in Java so we have to remove it from here. All the static variables get the default value of the particular data type. Uh, for int it is zero, but we can assign it for ourselves so that we know that it is containing zero. And now let me show you how to count the number of objects that we have created of a particular class. So we are having a count here. So let's remove the main method from here and let's generate a constructor of this class copy this and these parentheses and curly braces so this is the constructor for this class and now let's have count plus plus so every time an object is created the constructor will be called and the count variable will be incremented and as i have told earlier count is associated with the class so it is only initialized once and for other objects that will be created after the first object this count variable will be incremented by one so this code is enough for this class and now let's have another class let's make a new class over here and static use main uh, make s small and finish so over here what we need we need a main method psvm and tab now let's create some of the objects for this class a new 
and uh, static use demo and semicolon and let's copy paste this to create more of the objects and now let's s out the value of count and now as you know the count is a static variable so to actually access a static variable the syntax is somewhat different from using a instance variable because the static variable is associated with the class we have to access it using the class name static demo sorry static use demo and dot operator and count so this is the syntax for accessing a static member of a class and let's shift f6 and here you can see we are having four objects so let's output it in a better way let's have we have count objects shift f6 so it is giving we have four objects now let me show you if we change this static to an instance variable now it is an instance variable and the same thing happens whenever an object is created this will be called and since this is not a member anymore we have to use a count over here so what we can do we can have an object created again copy it and paste it over here dot demo so this is absolutely right because this will create an object and the object will reference to the count or other way we can make a reference over here then we can use that reference here so now we have created one two three four and total of five objects of static demo class and we have access count f6 and it is saying we have one objects now this is obviously not true because as you can see we are having five objects over here and what is happening because the instance variable is associated with only an object and not to a full class so every time an object is created this is initialized back to zero and after that this is incremented every time an object is created the counts value is one then the second object is created the count is initialized again to a zero and not only initialized it is declared again and then this count is again created to zero and then again it is incremented to one so now you are familiar with the static variables now let's create some static methods here let's have a static method static get count so this method looks good but we haven't provided a return type so let's have a int type and return count and let's make this static so this looks good and now we are returning the count from a static method and over here let's remove this and what we need we need a call to get count so let's have a static and static use demo dot get count so this will return the value of count shift f6 and you should get four yeah we have four objects so what we need to know over here is this is a static method so it is using a static variable what if it is not a static variable so what it is saying is a non-static variable count cannot be referenced from a static context so let's put it back to the static end count so a static method can only use static variables inside of it and here you can see the main method is also a static method and this should be a static method because when jvm wants to execute a class it is not having an object to access the main method so it is only having a class name so to use the main method it needs to have static method so that it gets to the main method and do its work now one more thing what we can do here let's use another keyword that is final so what does final do by using final we can create a variable as a constant so if we use a final over here static final int count equal to zero so this variable count has become a constant over here so the convention of naming a 
constant variable is full uppercase words count and if you are having two words you have to give an underscore between them count objects so in this way you can do it and here you can see we are getting an error because the name has been changed so let's remove this and put it over here and again you can see we are getting an error because we cannot assign a value to final variable count objects because it is a constant and it obviously can't be incremented so this is wrong so remove this and change it to count objects so we are returning count objects over here but this code is useless now because what we intended to do is to count the number of objects and we have made it final so this is only for the purpose of your understanding how to make a variable final and to make its value constant and there is a class called maths that has a static method called pi so we can use it let's have a math this is the class name dot pi here you can see this is a static method and this is not a statement so we have to assign it to some double double equals sorry double d equals math.py so the value of math.py is given to this its value is something 3.14 something and we have covered the static blocks the static variables and the static methods and in these three contexts we can use static and you'll see the use of final in more variety of ways than only making a variable constant it can be used with a class or it can also be used with the methods but that part is somewhat advanced from this level at which we are so we'll see the use of this final in the later stage and again i'm saying practice the code because only watching the tutorial is the 5% of what you learn and the rest 95% is what you practice. So with this, we come to the end of the tutorial and see you next time.